Welcome to Lady Red, it's Lorette again. Hi, my hair has been in cornrows for over two weeks. To speed up my wash day, I took down my cornrows the night before and I put my hair in a bun. I haven't detangled or done any pre pooing I have a detailed video on how I take down and wash my matted cornrows, so definitely check that out later. The link is on the screen and in the description box. As always, I'll be using my favorite Mira Amla Oil Shampoo and Amla Oil Conditioner and some other handy tools including a shower brush. The first thing I always do is drench my hair with water. As you can see, I'm hanging my head over the bathtub. I realized that it takes entirely too long to wash my hair in the shower. First I have to wash my hair, then my body because all that product and hair gets everywhere. It's just the whole process, but doing it this way saves a lot of time. Next I start shampooing with Mira Amla Oil Shampoo. I apply a generous amount to my hair. I don't shampoo in sections, never really saw the point of that, but I am keeping my hair down in one direction. I also apply shampoo to my shower brush to clean and massage my scalp thoroughly. All the products and tools I use will be listed and linked in the description box. You'll see me go back a few times and apply little squeezes of shampoo wherever it doesn't feel soapy enough. I like my hair really clean. Like what's the point of washing your hair if it's not properly clean? Before I rinse it all out, I smooth down my hair with the rest of the shampoo. Every strand of hair gets clean and this also reduces frizziness and tangling. Remember, keep your hair in one way. The key to washing your hair like this is to keep smoothing the hair in one direction. Now I can go ahead and rinse all of the shampoo out. The water is lukewarm by the way, just in case you wanted to know that. At this point, I attempted to divide my very thick transitioning hair down the middle into two sections only. And then I just soaked it with water again. This is the part where I detangle my hair with the Mira Amla oil conditioner starting at the ends. I've noticed that the longer my hair gets, the less sections I can get away with. I think this has to do with the fact that when your hair is wet, it's heavier and it hangs down, which kind of makes it easier to detangle. When I cut my hair in January this year, I was doing six sections and I would spend the entire day in the shower. I know that from this angle, it kind of looks like I'm not detangling the roots, but I actually am. For some reason, I just feel more comfortable detangling towards my face. This comb I'm using has long teeth, so it actually reaches everything it needs to reach. Plus, I'm using my other hand to finger detangle while I comb. That's all the hair that came out of one section. And now I can clip it away and move on to the next. Honestly, I was surprised. Each side took under 7 minutes to detangle. Once I got past that line of debarkation, it was so easy. There's just something about this comb. It's just an ordinary, inexpensive, wide tooth comb, but it works so well on my hair. Hold your hair so that you aren't tugging on your scalp and use your other hand to finger detangle while you comb. The best advice I can give you for detangling is find a brush that works well on your hair and use a lot of conditioner. And then I just put on a shower cap and left the conditioner in for 10 minutes, letting the heat from my scalp and my bathroom do its thing. While I wait, I usually just tidy up the bathroom so I don't have to come back later. 10 minutes later, I rinse out the conditioner section by section. Remember to keep your hair going in one direction. I know I've said this before, but it is so incredibly important. Afterwards, I squeeze out as much water as I can and then I braid that section and move on to the next half. I pad my hair with the hair towel before putting it on so that my hair isn't dripping all over the floor. So, washing is done. I've got my two sections. First, I'm applying a leave-in butter, which is dark and lovely afro food. The smell is just divine. I try not to be too heavy-handed with hair butters and creams, or else it takes forever and ever 
and ever to dry. Then I seal it all in with Mira Amla oil. Of all the oils I've ever used, this one is my favorite and that will probably never change. Of course I moisturize the other side as well before drying my hair my preferred way, which is with a fan. If you're like, huh, what, when, where, then you need to watch this video next. There is a method to do, there, there, <laughs> there is a method to this, so definitely check that out. It's always a wonderful feeling to have no tangles on transitioning hair. With my hair in the stretched state, I thought now is a good time to do a little maintenance trim. I haven't trimmed my hair since January because I told myself that the next time I trim, it would be a big chop, but nah. Turns out transitioning isn't as complicated as I imagined. Sometimes the difficulty is all in the mind. I'll probably wait until my natural hair is at least shoulder length stretched before I big chop. I've washed my hair like this three times already. Three times. It's just so easy. As long as I have an hour to spare, I can wash my hair and I feel more motivated to keep up with my hair routine. If you found this helpful, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more detailed tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye.